In the currency quadrant, taking a look at the Canadian dollar, which is up for two consecutive sessions now for a total move higher of about two thirds of 1%. But the Canadian dollar did finish lower for the second consecutive week, about three quarters of a percent on the week. So overall that weakness in the Canadian dollar has been fairly sustained. Today we finished higher by about four tenths of 1%. On the low, we hit 72.81 and a half, and on the high, we hit 73.36. So a pretty decent range on both sides, but we clearly finished closer to the highs than we did to the lows. Employment data in Canada today came out much stronger than expected. According to the data released this morning, Canada added 63,800 jobs. Now that's almost double last month's edition. Uh, and 43,800 jobs more than what the market was expecting to see from this particular piece of data. The unemployment rate stayed at 5.5%. It was expected to rise to 5.6, although average hourly wages ticked up and full-time employment was left at less than half of where it was last month. So overall, it was a strong employment figure and that helped to strengthen the Canadian dollar. As we know, the Bank of Canada is in a pause on their rate hikes right now. And the inflation data has been okay in Canada. It was actually a little weaker a few weeks back, but this particular data set means that the fight against inflation may not be over yet. U.S. yields part of the story as well as U.S. yields did jump after the stronger than expected payrolls number that we got here in the U.S., but then it fell from its highs, causing the dollar to actually turn from up on the day to negative on the day, three consecutive days lower for the dollar in aggregate now. That, of course, was a tailwind for the Canadian dollar as well.